Horatio came to our narrative nonfiction class today, and one of the things we're talking about in that class, which we didn't talk about today, was the idea of narrative nonfiction being explanatory, exploratory, and polemic. What do you think? Do you have a polemic in this book, do you think? Yes. I mean, it's, it is wrong that you can have an Indian and a Filipino in the same engine room doing the same job and being paid separate rates, and that's just... They, and they, and, and you know, why are the Danes paid so much better than the Filipinos? And they say, well, because the dollar goes further in Manila. But that was the argument for not paying blacks the same as whites in South Africa. I mean, the world used to condemn that, and now the world relies on it. And that's very clearly in, in, in the book. Um, but I suppose it was just that it was a question of bearing witness. I mean, we, we ought to acknowledge that the stuff doesn't just turn up, and that people not just risk their lives, but give their lives up for the stuff to turn up. Uh, and you're sure nobody asked them to do it. But they'd all made the same wish when they were young, which is they'd wanted to go to sea, and then they find themselves in this situation, and it's like everything else, it's getting harder, um, and they suck it up and, and deliver the goods. And, and some of it's really quite mad. I mean, there's, as I said, there's no reason for us to be taking milk in these uh, appalling, convoluted ways, but it seems that the world economy needs us to move stuff around. Um, and what was so extraordinary, actually, was that, that it works. I mean, human beings are astonishing. So two months after we left Felixstowe, the captain had a date, 2.30 in the afternoon on the 28th of, of October, and he had to be a, at a certain point off Long Beach, California, with 115,000 tons worth of goods. And as we crossed that line, he said, you see the time, Claire? 2.30, you know, marvelous, incredible. And he, to do that, he'd, he'd defeated uh, a crack pi piston casing, pirate threats, typhoon, multiple errors by crummy pilots, dodgy business in the Suez Canal, and he just brought her home again. Um, and it's people, men and women uh, like that, who make the whole thing work. And you see how it is that future generations, and, and God knows humans are so crap at the future, aren't we? I mean, once in a generation you get somebody along like H.G. Wells, who'll say, right, there's going to be nuclear submarines, there's going to be the atom, there's going to be Wikipedia, and then he disappears, and we're left to kind of just fulfill it. We're crummy at the future, but I now know how we'll do it, and how we'll do it is it will be gigantic machines that go to other planets, and they will be operated by tiny crews of men and women who will follow procedure, who will follow procedure, and who will be amazingly tough with themselves, um, strong and mighty. And, and that was kind of, if there's a polemic, it's to celebrate that, I think.